Hi and welcome back to this video on how to use the Dynamic Momentum Index. We have recently introduced this indicator on Market Pulse and I'm sure many of you are looking forward to a better understanding of this tool. Today I will walk you through what is the Dynamic Momentum Index, strategies to improve your trading and understanding its limitations. So the Dynamic Momentum Index was created by Tushar Chande and Stanley Kroll and uh, introduced in their 1994 book, The New Technical Trader. So the first question in your mind must be, what is this Dynamic Momentum Index? The simple answer, it's a variable period RSI. The RSI is calculated based on the number of periods you select in the parameter settings, which is usually 14. You can increase or reduce the value of the time period based on your personal preferences. But what if I told you that here's an indicator that can automatically calibrate the RSI period based on how volatile the price of the security currently is? Well, the DMI does just that. It is designed to use a changing number of days in its calculations, which depends on the volatility of the security. In DMI, it uses increasing periods as volatility decreases giving a much longer range view when the markets are trading quietly and when volatility increases we take a smaller period range thus shortening our time horizon to find overbought and oversold conditions in more active markets. So DMA has an inverse relationship with volatility. It also gives you the ability to restrict the minimum and maximum number of days that one wants to use for the DMI calculation to fit your trading horizon. The defaults are 5 and 30. For those of you interested in understanding how DMI is calculated, here are the steps for it. First, we calculate the standard deviation of the last five closing prices. Then we take a 10 period moving average of the standard deviation calculated in the first step. We divide this uh, step one by step two to get what we call VI. Now we calculate a variable called TD by dividing 14 by VI and we only use the integer value of these results. Now this TD is the time period of your dynamic momentum index. TD is limited to between 5 and 30. If over 30, we continue to use the value of 30 and if under 5, we continue to use the value of 5. TD is how many periods are used in the uh, RSI calculation. And now RSI is calculated using the number of periods dictated by TD. Let's take this example for INFI. On this daily chart, I've plotted both the DMI and RSI along with price and you can observe that the DMI line is far more enhanced than the RSI in identifying the extreme price points on the charts. Not only that, the DMI also leads the RSI by one or more days into these extreme regions. There are several ways one can employ the DMI to improve your trading. In markets which are not showing any defined uptrend or downtrend, let's say you're using the ADX to determine that. Let's say you define ADX below 25 as a trendless market. You could then use the DMI being overbought to go short and oversold DMI to go long. Let's look at this hourly chart for Indigo. On the 5th November at 10 a.m. we see a reversal on DMI from oversold and at 1 p.m. a reversal from overbought. And again on 8th November, a reversal from overbought and 13th November from oversold. These signals produce profitable trades in the sideways market as ADX is hovering around 22 levels. One must ensure that you keep a tight stop of the high or low of the last 3-5 to five days based on your risk levels to ensure we protect capital. In markets which are trending, let's say ADX is more than 25-30 to 30 levels. We can use the DMI as an entry point for taking trades in the direction of the larger trend. For example, if the market is trending higher, you could wait for an oversold condition on the DMI to assume it's a minor correction to go long as a low risk buying opportunity as in the case in this daily chart for Indigo. One could also look at DMI as an exit tool to get out of trades in overbought or oversold conditions as well. However, as a trader, you must understand the limitations of this indicator as well. 
you must understand that markets do not have to automatically reverse just because they are currently overbought or oversold. And overbought markets can continue to rise and oversold markets can continue to fall and work with strict stop losses at all times to protect your capital at risk. Finally, remember with the DMI, you do not have to specify the number of days in your calculation like the RSI. And this automatic adjustment with volatility is a great advantage. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more on Market Vidya. Thank you.